The Riverside Municipal Auditorium is home to countless shows and events, but recently showcased a local artist with a deeply personal story to tell. In a concert charity event, we learned how she and her company reached out to touch the lives of victims of abuse and trauma in a show centered around her time in foster care and relationship with her parents. My name is April McLean. I'm a dancer and choreographer, and I own Infused Dance Studio. I would say that the show is based on almost my entire childhood, and it moves through this arc of the days of the connection with my mother and feeling that, that joyfulness into the shift to the losing her uh, to this man that entered our life and then losing her completely as I was given into foster care and just running away from home and that slow climb out. And the show ends in the victory of today. I mean, I, I invited everybody on stage at the end to, because there's a lot of foster youth in the audience, there was a lot of survivors in the audience, and the goal of inviting all those people on stage was to say, if you do feel lonely now, and you might be, there is a community that you can develop outside of what people call family that's still available to you. She also created a lobby display, which gave her viewers a preconceived emotional attachment to her story. Pictures from her childhood, case notes from her time in foster care, and then a vibrant display of her current community describe her journey to a happier life. The whole show was such a roller coaster because for every piece, I really did find an emotional connection that I was not expecting. But for the most part, I was just filled with gratitude that these beautiful dancers gave me their time and energy to do this thing and that people actually came to see it. It was a miracle. We asked April what message she hoped to convey to her audience and how she believes her performance had done so. If you have been traumatized, if you have been a foster youth, you need to find a, a balance between compassion for yourself and an intolerance to keep living in that space. You have to be able to love yourself enough to say you deserved better. Once you enter the real world, it is now on you to move past that narrative and find your own way in life. You, you don't get to live in that space forever. She goes on to explain its therapeutic aspects. I think there's a few ways that performances like this can make an impact. The first is that, you know, when, when you are in foster care, you're forced to go to counseling and you're forced to talk and you're not always ready to talk and to take the trauma and funnel it through dance it gives a different way to connect to feel without having to sit in front of somebody and talk about it so for one it helps the audience feel seen you know oh she did that and she also came out of it and perhaps I can too without me having to sit across from them and actually have a conversation. In one way it's just kind of another language for them to connect to. It also brings in people who have no real connection to trauma. They've they've never been traumatized. I think that there's endless ways that dance and art in general can help to bridge all of those gaps and this is just a drop in the bucket. It's like one show but that one show I received a few emails afterwards like it definitely connected with some of the youth so it's worth it all that work just for one kid would be totally worth it I own a business I'm happily married I have a huge community and when you're in foster care that's not even anything that you could even fathom like you can't even fathom that you might go somewhere beyond where you are right now and I really hope that they see I'm not extraordinary it's just make a choice April was just one of more than 400,000 children who struggled through trauma and foster care. And if you'd like to know more about April and her company, you can visit RetrogradeDance.com. This has been Jaylon Bennett with Riverside College News.